Back in high school, I had more of a high top, and I would get constant kind of harassments about receiving detentions because my hair was being distracting to other students. St. Peter's University senior Jack Payne shared his experiences at a roundtable on the politics of hair discrimination. So have you ever tried to get in a club or anything or uh, have a part-time job and they didn't like your hair or said something about your hair? The political science major responded that he had an internship on Capitol Hill last summer and had talked about whether or not he should cut his hair with his father. I wasn't going to conform to that idea just because somebody wasn't going to be okay with my hair. Students share their stories with Senator Sandra Cunningham and Assemblywoman Angela McKnight, who sponsored legislation that would make New Jersey the third state behind California and New York to change the state's discrimination law to include hair. The bill reads race is inclusive of traits historically associated with race, including but not limited to hair texture, hair type, and protective hairstyles. That includes hairstyles like braids, locks, and twists. I've also worn it in braids. I wanted to try it out. Um, some people were like, oh, that's different. Like, I didn't expect you to do that. I felt like my curly hair, something was wrong with it because people were constantly trying to change it and straighten it. Right now, there are, uh, there is no real protection. Assemblywoman Angela McKnight says the bill was inspired by a black high school wrestler who was forced to either cut his dreads or forfeit a match. That young man should not have had to make a choice. I've embraced my natural hair since the beginning of this year, and I want other women as well as men, pre predominantly black women and black men, to walk anywhere they want to and feel comfortable. This year, junior Amanda Smith decided to go natural with her hair to empower others. It's major for people that do have different hair textures, that are trying to look for a job and provide for their families. At the end of the day, if your hair is straight and mine is locked, that does not determine our ability to get the work done. And I think we need more people in the workplace with different types of hair. The assemblywoman and senator told the students to email them their stories because they want to share them as this bill moves to committee. In Jersey City, Leah Mishkin, NJTV News.